Morocco, home to tagine, bustling market stalls, mind-blowing views, and snake charmers. But not this weekend. The only thing that matters, the Formula E, here in beautiful Marrakesh. Hello, and welcome to Marrakesh. Smile, smile. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. One forty. One forty. Yeah, yeah, go. Energy, atmosphere, Marrakesh is out of control, and I absolutely love it. But bring on Formula E tomorrow and the day after. Sam Bird wins in Hong Kong, the opening race of the season. Why should people be getting into Formula E? People should be getting into Formula E because it is an exciting form of motorsport. The whole concept is based around enjoyment and fun and entertainment, as well as showcasing new technology that is relevant to where we are with the planet right now. Where do you see the sport in 20 years' time? Because it's such a relevant technology. This championship, it has no boundaries, but it could grow into something that is massive. One thing that Formula E does have is a very unique social media element to it. Can you tell yeah. us about that? What it enables you to do is, if you get voted in the top three, so you have the top three amount of votes, uh, in your second car, you will be able to use the fan boost paddle on the steering wheel, and that will effectively give you three seconds of additional power. If you're second, and you're right behind the guy in the lead towards the end of the race, you can flick that paddle and you could be passed by the next corner. Welcome to the DS Virgin Racing Garage. This is where it all happens. And as you can see, the team are in full preparation mode. Come and follow me, and we'll see exactly what goes into that preparation. What is the aim of the track walk? Uh, just to re-familiarize yourself with the surroundings, the track, if there's any bumps or anything uh, that you didn't notice last time. And if the FIA have changed anything, just to go out there and see it for yourself before driving it later. I thought I'd show you my car. Yes, so yeah. I've got two cars, as you know, for, for the race. Yep. So I'll do the first stint in one of them, the second stint in the other. But we're going to focus on this one. It's still actually being put together, ready for the shakedown this afternoon. But as you can see inside the cockpit, the seat is molded exactly to my body. You would not be able to fit my car because as you can see, there's yeah. a little bit of a height difference. Possibly. Right, let's try and fit this six foot three strand of spaghetti in there. Oh. Same inside there, both legs down. Oh. <laughs> like that. Oh my God. This is an hour of being in this position. It's nuts. And yeah, it's quite claustrophobic, isn't it? It's day three here in Marrakesh, which means it's race day from the Circuit International Automobile Moulay El Hassan. Nails it. Why should more people be getting into Formula E? I think Formula E is going to be the future of motor racing. Yeah. You know, I think uh, when combustion engines are completely disappeared off the planet, electric engines and electric racing is the future. It's all we're going to have left, and it's really exciting to be involved with it. Where do you see the sport in 20 years' time? Well, I think in the next couple of years, when the German manufacturers get involved, I think it's the first time that all the German manufacturers have competed against each other. And that's going to be awesome. And, uh, and I'd love a Porsche. <laughs> Practice done, qualifying done. At any minute, the race is going to start, and Sam Bird is going to be pulling up to this position a couple of metres away from me, ready to hopefully bring home the win here in Marrakesh. From Middle Earth to Marrakesh, Orlando Bloom, how are you, sir? <laughs> Enjoy that one. Yeah, that was a good one, mate. Well, How you doing, all right? Well done, son. Yeah, Thank all you. right. This is fun, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Look at us. We're in Marrakesh. We're in Marrakesh. What attracts you to Formula E? 
Um, look, I think uh, I've always loved cars. I've always loved the idea of going fast in cars and, and the technology that they're developing for the cars for Formula E obviously will have an impact on all the cars that we'll be driving at home. And that's a, so that's a it's sort of like guilt-free speed cars, you know, which is an amazing thing, you know. I think the batteries are no longer even an issue. They've, they've, they've mastered what they, how to, how, to, how to do that. They've got, you know, the infrastructure coming along with, you know, charging stations and stuff. They've, now, what would you say to the uninitiated to get them into Formula E? You know what? I'm the uninitiated and I came here and had a great time. Finally, I understand you had a go in a car yourself earlier. Yeah. How did you how'd you get on? I definitely pushed the car, I think, yeah. <laughs> right to the limit because I took a little clip on the nose cone at the good end. Good man, good man. <laughs> but that was fun. Yeah, it's a, it's it's great. It's, it's it's such a hot, you know, such an adrenaline rush. I love it. Sam, how are we feeling? Yeah, good. Um, you know, there's pre-race nerves, there's anticipation, adrenaline, but feel good. Victory in Marrakesh! <laughs> Well done, guys. Marrakesh, thank you. You've been an absolute beauty. But we'll see you lot in Chile. Third place for Sam Bird. It's not too bad at all.